Stage six, the toughest of Paris-Nice so far, with six categorized climbs over the 162 kilometers between Sorgue and Apt. Only 109 riders were at the depart. On top of yesterday's multiple withdrawals, Bahrain McLaren decided not to start today's stage due to the current coronavirus epidemic, whilst Ewan, Viviani, De Burst, Barbier and Nalance also went home early. On top of that, race organizers ASO announced that tomorrow will be the final stage of the race. Still, the action came thick and fast and it took a full 47 k's before this break established itself. Pedersen, Anacona, Kung, Gujar, Ede, Bardet and Perez building up a lead of 1 minute 20 after 100 k's. Bora Hansgrohe were lending a hand to the chase as you'd expect, but De Koenig Quickstep were doing the bulk of it. Unusually, they are yet to win a stage and time is quickly running out. At the front, the break was breaking up. Two Frenchmen, Bardet and Ede, now on their own, whilst behind, the first action came from Team Sunweb, Nikias aren't going on the attack. At the top of the next classified climb, it was Ede, who again took maximum points, as he had done on all the previous ones. Soren Krau Anderson was the next to move for Team Sunweb. Second in the general classification, he made short work of bridging to Arndt, who immediately hit the front to set a high tempo for his teammate. But not for long. Arndt was soon out, leaving Krau Anderson to do the second time trial of his week so far. Ade again took maximum points on the next classified climb of the day, at which point he'd become the new leader in that classification. Soon after that, two became three as Krau Anderson made contact. By this point, he was the virtual race leader on the road. The chase, though, still being led by Bora and De Kerning, did a great job. That lead was cut to under 20 seconds inside of the closing 20 k's of the stage. The action was relentless, though. With 14 k's to go, we had a shark attack, neebly accelerating with Tish Bonot for company, although not for long. Bonot soon dropped the Italian and joined his teammate at the head of the race. By the time Alaphilippe made his move, the gap had gone back up, now at 22 seconds. Understandably, Krau Anderson wasn't able to stay with the flying Benoit for long. The Belgian was going solo with 12 kilometers remaining, whilst behind frustration began to creep in through the lack of cooperation within the small group. There were constant attacks, but nothing was sticking. Until that is, Jungels and Grosschartner made their move. Two very strong riders setting off in pursuit of the leader, and the gap soon started to come down. Benoit would pick up three bonus seconds at the final intermediate sprint, but this for him was about the stage win. And it was beginning to look very good for him. With Jungels caught, his gap was 30 seconds with just three kilometers remaining. And it had only been cut by two when he went under the Flan Rouge. The stage was in the bag, but how much time could he pull back on Shackman? Well, perhaps quite a bit. He went too hot into this right-hander, but somehow Speedway style managed to save his skin. However, it was the time that he was looking to save, and that was ticking by as he remounted his bike and tried to remount his chain. Benoit was completely unaware of all of that, though, taking his first win for his new team Sunweb, and in quite some style. It was a dominant performance all day from them. They also took second place with Michael Matthews, while Sergio Igita, the best young rider, would take third. But now all eyes were on Shackman and the clock. One minute and 11 seconds separated Bonneau from the yellow jersey this morning, and as Shackman came into sight of the finish line, he could breathe a sigh of relief. A more deserving victor you are rarely likely to see, not just from the way he rode, but his entire team. Chapeau, Sunweb, that was impressive to watch. Third on the day to Higita, but Quickstep having to settle for fourth and fifth with Jungels and Alaphilippe respectively. And so, Shackman is still in yellow, but his lead has been cut significantly. Initially, we were told it was just 18 seconds over Tish Benoit, who'd moved up to second. However, that was later changed back to 36 seconds when the race jury decided to award the adjournment the same time as the group of Michael Matthews. Tomorrow, we are supposed to have the final stage of the race, although it does hang in the balance. It's a mountaintop finish, 165 kilometers from Nice to the top of the Val de Blore de Calmiani. It's a climb of over 16 kilometers in length with an average gradient of 6.3%. A true test, particularly at this time of the year. Can Shackman hold on? Will Bonote steal his thunder? Or will Igita muscle his way onto the final yellow jersey? Find out tomorrow here on GCN Racing. 
Don't forget too to download the GCN app if you haven't done so already, your one-stop shop for all things cycling.